are you part of the people that anytime they go to store they don't know what kind of cleanser they want to use why do i even need why is it so complicated to choose the right cleanser my face is always so dry <laughs> Are you confused? Are you part of the people? If yes, you might want to stay until the end of this video. Hi guys, welcome to Beauty by SS YouTube channel. Yeah, here yeah, we talk about skin, hair, beauty in general. Here we talk about nutrition. Here yeah, we, we share tips, we, we give advice to be able to enhance your natural beauty. My name is Ese. If you are joining us for the first time, you are very, very, very welcome. It's so nice to see you. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Uh, that way you will not miss any of my videos. Thank you. And if you have been here with us before, it's so nice to see you again uh, so today uh i am starting a series of video to to teach you guys the basic of uh, a good skincare regimen uh in today's topic we are going to talk about cleansers trying to get your own skincare regimen cleansers are the basic you should know this you should get this right and then you can build up other other treatment other other things you want to do uh, with your skincare regimen uh what is facial cleansing uh, you know facial cleansing is the removal of uh, dirt of impurities of debris of uh, makeup away from your face during the day the skin of our face is really uh is is out there in contact with the pollution in contact with the air even ourselves we apply makeup we apply other cosmetics and uh, our skin also produces its own oil which we call sebum so facial cleansing is the removal of all those things so that your skin can look healthy and be fresh and also so that your pores can be clean that's very important so that's what we call facial cleansing uh, next, I'm going to talk about why why is it that uh, you cannot just keep applying makeup upon makeup and your face will still look okay. Uh, you need to cleanse our face uh, because as I was saying it before, during the day we have a lot of things that come to, to stick to our face like all those pollution, even the makeup you apply, all those things, they need to go away. They need to go away from our face even our own face produces its own sebum and for example if you have uh, oily skin your sebum can be so much that your skin will be oily and will not look healthy at all so all those things need to be removed how do you actually cleanse your face to just make it very simple facial cleansing go like this if you have an oily skin you go with uh, oily skin cleansers if you have dry skin you go with dry skin cleansers you need to go with your own uh, specific skin type that's how you go for it now you can use things like uh, brush sponge there are so many things out there today to be able to make uh, a very efficient uh, facial cleansing for example my skin is really dry and uh, i'm very careful with the kind of cleanser i use somebody like me you want to go for cleanser that can be able to really cleanse your skin but also moisturize it at the same time because anything that is very drying my skin up it will cause damage to me for example i'll go with milky uh, kind of cleanser cleanser that are soft that are milky uh, that are creamy because they are better for my skin type uh, if you for example have uh, oily skin you need to go for cleanser that are strong that can actually cleanse deeply your pores but also that will not aggress your skin and to be able to find that you need to look for ingredients the ingredients that are in the cleansers are very important to how effective they want to be on your face uh, if your skin is uh, sensitive for example 
you need to avoid all those products that are really harsh you need to avoid like uh, strong perfume you need to avoid uh, alcohol because all those things will come and irritate the already sensitive skin that you have and believe me you don't want that <laughs> you don't uh, and if your face is mixed then you can go for you know product that can balance the production of your sebum but we also moisturize uh, if you are your skin is normal then you need to try different things because as a normal skin you have the advantage of not having so much issue that other uh, skin type has uh, so in general cleansers should be might uh, they shouldn't be really aggressive because uh, uh, because the pH, the pH of our skin needs to also be maintained you know it needs to be maintained so cleansers need to be might and one rule that I usually say is that if after cleansing your face then you have that sensation of um, your skin being like a paper your skin being like lifeless then you should know that's not the right cleanser for your own skin type it needs to be avoided another thing about cleanser is that after doing your cleansing please go ahead and apply a toner now a toner works same way as, as cleansers if you have a uh, normal skin go for normal skin toner if you have dry skin go for dry skin toners that's it about cleansing and also uh, one thing is that th your skin type also will determine how many times per day for example you need to use that cleanser on your face for example somebody like me mask twice a day is okay for me to wash my face but if somebody should be like uh, skin should be very oily and uh, the skin should have a lot of impurities the pores are big and the sebum is a lot somebody like that might have to cleanse his face two to three times a day actually it depends on your on your lifestyle do you apply makeup how heavy is your makeup and you know what are the product the other products you use on your face so uh guys that that was all about the the facial cleansing and uh, i think i've mentioned everything i wanted to mention uh but also today i i spoke a lot about facial cleansing but i also uh tied it to the skin type now do you ever know your skin type because obviously if you don't know your skin type you will not be able to choose the right cleanser for yourself so knowing the skin type is important now if you want me to come with a video telling you ab uh, about skin type please leave me a comment below and i'll be very glad to come come with another video to tell you about how to know your own skin type uh, if you have any other question if there's something you want to know if there's a question you want to ask me please don't hesitate like I said I want this to be really interactive so please guys leave me your uh, your comments or do you, you can even just tell me how do you cleanse your skin how do you go about how do you choose your own you know I'll be really just glad to read you just to read you uh, guys guys Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Uh, I think that was all. I'll see you again in my next video. Ciao.